Hello, Jinlin. In today's video, we are going to study about nutrition in plant. In yesterday's uh, video, we already studied that uh, the nutrition are of various modes and the various types. Okay, in mode of nutrition, we studied that uh, nutrition can be either autotropic or heterotropic. Autotropic is the one in which the organisms prepare food on their own. So most of the plants which we study, remember most I said, because a few examples are there where the plants are not prepared, they are able to prepare their food, whether they are they are acting as a parasite or they are acting as a saprophyte. Okay, so most of the plants prepare their food uh, by a process called photosynthesis. The word photosynthesis consists of two words, photo and synthesis. The word photo stands for light and synthesis means to make. For this, Plant requires some basic uh, nutrient from soil. And we also studied in yesterday's class that what is meant by nutrients. Nutrients are those basic substances which are used in the body for various type of needs. So uh, plants, of course, prepare their own food. So they do not require food from outside. Rather, they require some of the basic nutrients from the soil. And these nutrients in last year, that is in class 9th, we studied that the nutrients in the plants are classified into two types, either macronutrients or micronutrients. Macronutrients are of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, magnesium, and uh, silicon. Whereas, uh, whereas uh, macronutrients, they are required in a very small quantity and uh, there are, there is, there are like uh, sodium, like uh, copper, molybdenum, and all. Okay. So these are the nutrients will be used in the photosynthesis. Come to next. Now photosynthesis, the word, as I said, photo means light and synthesis means uh, to make something. So photosynthesis it is a process in which plants may food their own in the presence of light or any other sunlight or any other source of light using raw material like carbon dioxide, water uh, and chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the place where these substances will be used. So, in other words, we may we can say that photosynthesis in photosynthesis, in organic material like carbon dioxide and water are converted into organic substance like glucose. So, the photosynthesis is the process which is looked upon by different type of different scientists. So, when we talk in the biology, we talk about it's the process of preparation of food. Whereas when some chemist, that is the chemistry person is knowing, is studying it, he will be simply uh, finding glucose is a process of conversion of inorganic substance like carbon dioxide and water into organic substance like uh, glucose. When some physicist study, a person who is interested in physics, uh, for him it will be a conversion of uh, the energy. So it is a process of conversion of light energy into chemical energy. Again, for other people, it may be of some other important, like entrepreneurs, it may be a business for earning money, for someone else, it is something else and all. Okay, so that we are not considering here. Now, let us come to the next point, that is, as plant can convert light energy into chemical energy uh, of food for all the living beings, all the living beings. So that is why they are called producers of entire ecosystem. All the living beings are depending on the organic substances like we, like uh, all the animals, uh, they require organic molecules. So protein, fats, yesterday we studied that the protein, fats, uh, which, are, which are recycled by the uh, saprophytes. Okay, so these proteins, carbohydrates, fat, DNA, RNA, etc., we cannot make. We can just, just uh, what do you call, uh, uh, derive from one molecule from other molecule, but making of organic molecule is possible only by the plant. No animal has an ability to produce organic molecule from inorganic substance. So ultimately we are depending on plant. Of course, there are animals who are not eating plants like lion, tiger, panther, etc. But they are also getting all these molecules ultimately from the plant. So all the living beings use chemical energy converted by the plant only uh, this is why that, that that is why they are called producers okay let us see now for photosynthesis there are four basic requirements four substances are required first is carbon dioxide second water third light and the fourth one is chlorophyll if any one of these is not there or available in the lesser quantity photosynthesis will also be less uh, it is something like that if you if you want to make tea you have to have water you have to have 
uh, milk you have to add sugar you have to add tea leaves there are many other things also required gas is required vessel is required on all those things are required to be have there if without water you will make tea it will be made a uh, milk with a little color of tea so that will not taste as good as the single of for photosynthesis these four requirements are there now let us talk about them one by one first is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a basic molecule which is actually reduced into uh, glucose so carbon dioxide is the most important content okay now uh, we know that photosynthesis is important to us in two different manner first of all it is providing us food like organic molecule and secondly during the photosynthesis oxygen is released so it is also a process of conversion of carbon dioxide into oxygen which is very and very important for the environment point of view if it is not there how would we have been respiring for so many years and uh, uh, now with the industrialization the use of the carbon the use of the various type of fuel uh, which is produce enormous amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere which are having their own implications like uh, rise of the temperature average temperature rise and pollution and many other effects are there so uh, we should thank plants that they are converting the carbon dioxide back into oxygen let us say carbon dioxide in air there is only 0.03% of carbon dioxide now in some places because of the increase in industrialization and increase use of the fuel the compound the, the, the percentage of the carbon dioxide is even risen from 0.03 to 0.04 or 0.05% only this much of carbon dioxide is available in the air which is used by the leaves through stomata it enters into the leaf through stomata and which is used in photosynthesis however there are some plants which are found in the water that is aquatic plants the aquatic plants are using carbon dioxide dissolved in water which may be up to 3% stomata as we already studied in class 11th uh, sorry class 9th class 9th that stomata are the minute pores which are found in the leaves okay and uh, these are acting as a door these are acting as a door through which the gases enter like carbon dioxide will enter and oxygen will come out water vapor will be come out in transpiration and many other exchanges are made okay so when stomata are open carbon dioxide move into the leaves through from the higher concentration of environment to lower concentration 0.03% is quite high in compared to 0% you can inside whatever carbon dioxide goes that will be used in photosynthesis so the concentration becomes zero so carbon dioxide will keep on diffusing as long as stomata are open okay now uh, stomata open during day time and closes during night night there is no need of carbon dioxide so stomata are merely open this much that the oxygen can come in for respiration however in some of the desert plants they are they are not in a state to keep the stomata open during day time because if the stomata will be open during day time lot of water vapor will be lost so these plants have a special mechanism that is they they keep their stomata open during night they take the carbon dioxide convert them into some molecules store them in that form and they will use this carbon dioxide during day time okay so during day their stomata are closed and during night their stomata are open learn these two diagrams these are given in the ncert book and very often they are asked labeling also next important content for photosynthesis is water water is actually a, uh, a donor of hydrogen okay hydrogen will be used to reduce carbon dioxide into glucose okay so water is very important content as uh, water gives the hydrogen water is available uh, in the soil from there it is taken by the roots and uh, water is absorbed through roots and taken to the leaves by xylem about which we will study in the same chapter in the um, in the later part okay uh, when the water is absorbed by the plant at the same time some of the minerals are also enter in the plants which will be used for converting glucose one like molecule into other type of molecules about which we will study in little detail in little the last part of the today's video next important contain is chloroplast chloroplast is a green color pigment we see all the plants which we see around our house or wherever you might have seen most of them are green or at least their leaves are green but there are some plants in which the leaves are even of different colors so it is not necessarily green 
the green color pigment which we see in the plant maybe in the leaves maybe in the fruits maybe in the young stem maybe in some other part of the plants they are because of the chlorophyll and chlorophyll is the pigment which traps the light energy especially the red and violet light okay the chloroplast absorb sunlight and uses this energy in making organic substances okay uh, this is the diagram of chloroplast you have studied about chloroplast in, cl in class 9 chloroplast is a double membrane structure outer membrane and inner membrane both are more or less uh, same because they do not have any uh, finger like folds as we see in mitochondria then they have got granothylacoid and they got threads lamella which are known as and inside these there are pigments okay so chloroplast is further like uh, the, the cross section of this it can be divisible into uh, grana and stroma stroma is that part which is containing the various type of enzymes responsible for photosynthesis synthesis and <coughs> chloroplast is the part which is actually absorbing light so chloroplast is a double membrane organelle which is having grana in it <coughs> which absorbs sunlight and make use of it in photosynthesis uh, then we talk about light often we talk about sunlight but it's not that the plant use only sunlight now chloroplast uh, chloroplast uh, have chlorophyll uh, in the granothylacoid and chlorophyll will break the water molecule in to uh, to make it available uh, hydrogen for the reduction of carbon dioxide and oxygen will be reduced uh, released as a waste or as a by product okay for the reaction reduction of carbon dioxide all necessary enzymes are found in the chloroplast and next is there are many other different type of chlorophyll uh, there are chlorophyll a chlorophyll b c d e five different type of chlorophylls are there but most of the plants which we see around us they are having only two type of chlorophyll chlorophyll a and b okay and beside these there are some other type of pigments also found that is they are xanthophylls and keratinoids next the most important that is light for which the name photosynthesis is comes from so plant uses light from sun or from any other source only light energy is used not heat energy important thing to know that is whenever we talk about light along with light there is also heat okay of course we do not have heat in our tube light or um, some other source of light but most of the light is also associated with heat if we if we burn a candle or if we light a uh, bulb yellow bulb uh, they all all emit emit heat also along with light but in photosynthesis only light energy is used not the heat energy while we cook our food in the home we are using heat energy not the light energy okay uh, generally we we divide the light into a spectrum of seven colors of course the colors are infinite but the newton the famous scientist who did the who, who made the spectrum first time he gave it into seven colors so we also learned that that's a bit here that is seven colors anyway of the seven colors the red and the violet lights are used mainly in photosynthesis other lights are used by some other pigments which are very very minute in quantity photosynthesis also done in the other lights like indigo orange red yellow and all but they are very low in content and these lights are actually go by other type of pigments like xanthophyll and keratinoids okay come to next the process of photosynthesis how the photosynthesis is done photosynthesis is actually divided into two types two steps that is the dark reaction and light reaction so let us talk about this. when the sunlight falls when the sunlight falls on the leaf it uses the its energy to make organic food using inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water this is the definition the reaction of photosynthesis can be written like this carbon dioxide six molecule six molecule of water they will combine together to make one molecule of glucose and six molecule of oxygen will be given out as a waste okay and this is the waste for the plant right now in the process of photosynthesis because excess of oxygen is released and most of the living beings and most of the other processes around us are actually depending on this oxygen photosynthesis completes in two step first is light reaction and then second is dark reaction now when we talk about light reaction it's clear that this is the reaction in which light is necessary this reaction cannot be uh, processed without light dark reaction is not that which is taking place during night or during night dark 
it is also taking place during day but for this process light is not required only this much of difference is there both the process light reaction and dark reaction are going simul simultaneously in the leaves of the plant and the dark reaction is followed by light reaction and light reaction is followed by dark reaction because some of the substances which are used uh, it can be carried it can be compared as a uh, as a mobile battery the mobile battery which you uh, recharge when the light is available and then you use it and then when it discharges again you put it to the light so for the plants the uh, recharge is done by light energy okay come to the next we'll we can better understand it here light reaction it is a part of photosynthesis which takes place in presence of sunlight or any other light uh, for that sense because of which it is called photosynthesis okay during light reaction photolysis of water the word photolysis photo means light lysis means breakdown that is breakdown of water take place and when the water is broken it produces see here it is written water is broken it produces hydrogen ion and oxygen the hydrogen ions are very active you cannot simply release, release it so immediately there are some molecules which accept hydrogen they are called nadp so nadp comes and they fix this hydrogen and change into nadph2 okay whereas the oxygen will be given out through this tomato okay during the light reaction three things are produced what are there that some atp is produced and uh, which will be used uh, nadph2 are produced so atp and nadph2 they will be used to reduce carbon dioxide where the atp will be used as energy and nadph2 will provide hydrogen to reduce carbon and oxygen will be given as a by product waste product come next dark reaction as i said dark reaction is not a reaction which will take place during night or it require darkness light reaction require light but dark reaction does not require dark but it is it is a reaction which is taking place which is not affected by light okay suppose you got two taps in your school building one tap is here and the other tap is just opposite to it in this tap salty water comes hard water comes which is not very good for drinking so we say are what you are drinking the salt water ye to khara pani hai wahan meetha pani pe as if sharbat aa raha hai usme theek hai so it is our interpretation if it is salty that is sweet where is it is not sweet it is tasteless okay so same way that was light reaction so it is dark it is not dark it is not taking place in the night but it is it is not requiring light that is the only thing okay now uh, the atp and nadph2 are produced in the light reaction which are used in the dark reaction to reduce carbon dioxide okay and the carbon dioxide will be reduced into glucose molecule so six molecule of carbon dioxide six molecule of water will be reduced in the glucose and oxygen so here we are not written any uh, light if we are using in place of water we are using nadph2 and atp so atp and nadph2 are the two molecule which are converted in presence of light that will be used to reduce carbon dioxide okay hence we can say that photosynthesis completes in three steps फर्स्ट कलेक्शन ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल जो जो चाहिए सब ले आओ क्या क्या चीज चाहिए मेनली कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर ठीक है सम अमाउंट ऑफ मिनरल्स आर आल्सो रिक्वायर्ड लाइट इज आल्सो रिक्वायर्ड एंड ऑल सेकंड इज यूजिंग द लाइट एनर्जी दिस वाटर मॉलिक्यूल इज ब्रोकन इनटू हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन विल बी गिवन आउट हाइड्रोजन विल स्टोर इन एनएडीपीएच2 एंड थर्ड इज रिडक्शन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वेयर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्लस एनएडीपीएच2 प्लस एटीपी will result the formation of glucose okay remember dark reaction does not produce oxygen oxygen is produced in the light reaction whereas in light reaction glucose is not produced glucose is produced in dark reaction so when we write a combined it is a combined reaction of the light and dark reaction okay okay so now what we understood is the first product which is produced in photosynthesis is glucose but do plant require only glucose it's not that plant will also require proteins they will require fat they will require carbohydrate they will require dna they will require rna they will require several hormones they will require several enzymes they will require so many different type of molecules cuticle is made up of uh, wax that is require 
uh, the fruits are made up of containing various type of acids that is also required and many other type of substances are required the seed coats are containing the hard substance like calcium calcium oxalate or calcium uh, some compound of the calcium magnesium and all where this we are not talking about any calcium magnesium sulfur hydrogen of uh, hydrogen and oxygen nitrogen and all so they are also required in photosynthesis so the first product which is produced is of course glucose first product which is produced is glucose but the glucose will be later on converted into any other molecule okay so for that converted conversion various type of minerals are required and these minerals are also absorbed by the roots along with dissolved dissolved along with water so when the water is absorbed these minerals also comes and they also reach up to the leaves where these will be used for conversion of carbohydrates into the other type of substances now uh, when glucose is stored in excess now what will happen suppose you have got a glass of water and you add one teaspoon of sugar or glucose whatever you have got if suppose you got a glucose uh, during summers now many of it many houses we have got glucose at least uh, orange flavor or lime flavor glucose is there so uh, we keep drinking them now glucose you add one teaspoon of glucose in one glass of water it is good enough you add two teaspoon it will all the more good you keep adding glucose a time will come that much of glucose will be there no more glucose can be added no nor it will be uh, drinkable okay same thing if plant will keep on producing glucose and it will be dissolved in the cytoplasm the cytoplasm will become so concentrated that the water will start pouring in from the neighboring cells because it will have lack of of uh, lack of water okay so the other cells which have got more water water will uh, diffuse in it that is osmosis will take place so to avoid all those type of things what do plant do the plant converts soluble glucose into insoluble starch plant do not have vessels in which they will be stored okay we got some vessel and you just put and shut the top lid and keep it okay you bring oil fill in some bottle and cover it but plant do not have any bottles to be filled them and keep them so what do plant do plant convert that the soluble glucose into an insoluble starch and the starch will remain there unless they are required and when they are required they will dissolve the starch convert them back into glucose and use them okay so the starch is a very important substance which is used to store glucose and that is why it is it is sometimes known as that it is the internal stored energy of plant okay so that's all for uh, today children and we have studied the entire process of nutrition in plants so in next class uh, we shall study about nutrition in animal heterotrophic nutrition and holozygotic nutrition and then we will study about nutrition in amoeba and then human nutrition in human being thank you